Okay, this is a continuation from lesson 12 for 8th grade. Um, I'm dealing with uh, decimals for actions percents. Um, I noticed that we were having a bit of trouble and it took us a while to get through things yesterday. So I thought I'd put together uh, a few more examples for the students to go through. Um, I'm going to go through these fairly quickly um, just to save some time and since this is extra uh, from the lesson, but at least they'll be out there in case someone needs to see them. All right. Oops. All right, quicker to work here. All right, uh, first thing that we started off with here, um, and the students, went a bit, they would have uh, clicked in whatever answer they thought they had. I have no devices hooked up right now, but uh, we will show the correct answers here. Um, what is this number in words? Well, we have 11 and something, so we know that 11, and then our decimal point reads and. Um, our two here is in the hundredths place, so that means we have 11 and 12 hundredths. So we should have been looking at number two there, 11 and 12 hundredths. All right. Okay, order from least to greatest. Now I uh, reminded the students that I gave them a hint yesterday. What I would do is I would turn all of these into percents, and that should make it a lot easier. And remember, to turn something into a percent or a decimal into percent, we just move our decimal place over two spots to the right. Or basically we're multiplying each of these by 100. Okay? So, we move this two spots to the right, we get 60%. That'd be like one, two, and we'd add a zero. If we move this two spots to the right, we get 66%. If we move this one two spots to the right, we get one, two, 6.5%. And this one, two spots to the right, one, two, six percent. All right. Now, we can see that our smallest one then will be six percent. Our next biggest one will be 6.5%. 60% uh, 60 will be our next one, and then 66. So whatever order that follows, it looks like we want 0 0.06 first, 0 0.065 second. And then 60%, 0.6 next, and then 66%. Okay. Should be looking at number three right there. All right? That's the easiest way to do that one, or that type of problem. Okay, now what is 0 0.05 as a reduced fraction? And I did say 0 0.05, the unofficial way to say it. Uh, save some time, but this is actually 5 one hundredths. Okay? And since we uh, call it 5 one hundredths, that tells us how to set this up. We've got 5 in the hundredths place, so we go 5 over 100. So actually, number 2 is a correct answer, but there's one that's more correct because I asked for it in reduced form. So I know that 5 goes into 100, so I'm going to divide by 5. And we get 1. 100 divided by 5 is 20. Should get 1 over 20. Our little smiley guy should go to number 4. There he is. Alright, that's how we do that one. Okay, now we have a percent. What is 64% as a reduced fraction? Well, um, once again here, um, well, not once again, this one happens to be divided by 100 as well, but that's only because 60 uh, percents are out of 100. So we're going to go 64%. Uh, 64 over 100, and once again I said reduce, okay? There are actually two answers up here that are correct, but there's one that's more correct because I asked for reduced. Uh, let's say I don't necessarily know what goes into both of these. I don't know the greatest common factor, but I do know that two goes into both of these because both of these numbers are even. So I'm gonna start off dividing by two. Okay, 64 divided by two is 32. 100 divided by 2 is 50. Alright, now, this is one of our answers, but I want reduced. And this is not all the way reduced yet, because, once again, even number, even number. I know 2 goes into there again. 32 divided by 2 is 16. 50 divided by 2 is 25. And we get 16 out of 25. That cannot be reduced any further. 
we should be up there at number one. Um, if you would have found the greatest common factor between 64 and 100, it is 4. And we could have divided by 4 right away. If we did that, we would have come up with this right off the bat. But uh, a lot of students probably didn't know that 4 went into 64, um, which is okay. So, um, one way we could have checked that, we could have seen, we could have used our divisibility rules, which we covered earlier this year as well. Um, that would have helped us. Would have taken a little more time though, probably. Okay, what is 6% as a decimal? Now we're going percent to decimal. Remember what I said when we go decimal to percent, we move our uh, decimal point to the right twice. Well, now we're going percent to decimal. Now we move our uh, decimal point two spots to the left because we're going backwards. So 6%, our decimal point is right here. Is uh, 6.0 and 6 are the same thing, just one with a uh, not significant digit. Uh, we're going to go 1, 2, decimals here now, add a 0, we should be at 0 0.06 for that one. And all these hints are in the book, remember? Okay? Now we're going the other way. We are going decimal to percent. Okay? Well, we're going to move our decimal point two spots, and this time we're going to go to the right because we're turning it into a percent. Uh, one big question I got uh, on this one, uh, should we round? Uh, no, you should not because it does not specify that you should. It doesn't say um, what is um, this number about or you know something like that. It doesn't specify to round or give us any reason to believe that we should round. So we move our decimal point to the right two spots, one, two, 14.56%, we should be at number two here. All right, last two. Uh, these are the, the favorites of my students. That's a little sarcasm there, but we cleared this up nicely. 35% um, of 60, remember of, that is our special multiplying word. Two options we have here, we could have done we could have turned this to a decimal first, 0 0.35, and we could have multiplied it by 60. I'm going to erase that though. We could have done 35 over 100. We could have turned it to a fraction first, times 60 over 1. Just putting that over 1. Either one of these would have got us to the correct answer. Let me see if I have a better marker here. Not sure. Pretty good. Um, we would have done 5 times 0, 0. 5 times 6, 30. Uh, add our 0. 3 times 0, 0. 3 times 6, 18. Add. 3 plus 8 is 11. Carry the 1. 21. Move our decimal two spots. It's 2 away. 1, 2. We are at 21. If we were to do it this way, um, I would have taken a shortcut. I would have split all this up into what I knew um, we could. So 160. I divide those by 10. 6 and 10. Um, I know that 5 goes into both of these. Goes in there twice. Goes in here 7 times. I know 6 and 2 can be split up 1 and 3. 7 times 3, we still get 21. Okay, shortcut there. Um, the easiest way to do this, if you have a calculator, turn this to a decimal, multiply times 60. I'm going to check my time quick. We're doing fine. I've got one more example like this one, and I, I won't go through all of it, but we should be able to see um, it's very similar to this one. What is 85% of 120? Well, once again, could have done uh, 85, 0.85 times 120. If you want to go through and try this one, you could have done 85 over 100 times 120 over 1. Either one of these methods would work. If you want to go ahead and try it, you should be getting 102. So those are a couple more examples, um, they're out there now so that you can see them.
we had an assignment tonight and I'll try to put that up on the homework link today. Um, if not today, I'll have it up by tomorrow. Thanks.